California state senators today unveiled their financial priorities to help build the state's economy post-pandemic. And this includes expanding access to health care for undocumented immigrants and attempts to cancel student debt, among many other big ticket efforts. Our Capitol Bureau reporter, Ashley Zavala, joins us now live from Sacramento. Ashley, what is driving this big budget? Yeah, Justine, it's a combination of greater than expected forecasts for this year's general revenue funds as well as help from the federal government. The state is hoping to make progress on several of its systems, including the Employment Development Department, homelessness and student debt, for example. We have a once in a generation opportunity to make transformative changes for California. With higher than forecasted revenues and $26 billion in stimulus money from the federal government, some state Democrats have big financial hopes in their budget priorities laid out Wednesday. Among the proposals is a $100 million effort to immediately expand state health insurance to all Californians 65 and up regardless of immigration status and eventually extend it to all regardless of status with a phased in approach. The priority list also includes funding to expand access to early childhood care and education, money for first-time home buyers, and a five-year, $20 billion plan to tackle homelessness with more permanent housing programs. Our goals, a more equitable economy that provides pathways out of poverty and expanded access to wealth so that we can restore our middle class and we also want to dramatically reduce homelessness. The lawmakers also want to minimize student debt by expanding middle class access to scholarships. The group is also urging the Biden administration to cancel student debt up to $50,000 per student. This will eliminate debt for 3 million Californians and significantly reduce debt for almost 1 million more. Democrats say on top of this, they want to make a significant investment in improving state systems for agencies like the EDD and DMV that have been plagued by persistent technology problems. Democratic senators did not provide a total price tag on the long list of priorities. Republicans as of Wednesday were still reviewing the plan. You know, there are a lot of different needs, a lot of different issues that we need to address. What I'm not for is spending money indiscriminately to make a legislator feel good about themselves. It has to have some effect, it has to have some real meaning in the average Californians like that's what I want to see I you know press conferences are great um, but we I think taxpayers we want to see action more details of the plan are still being worked out as lawmakers await California's updated economic forecast that's coming in May. That's also the same time the governor is expected to update his financial priority list as well. Reporting live at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, Cron 4 News.